So what are we making today? We are going to make some avocado juice. All right. With reed avocados. So we discovered reed avocados a couple weeks ago, about a month ago, right? Yeah. They seem to be much bigger, creamier. Bigger, creamier. A little less expensive. Not necessarily. No? No. Okay. But they are bigger, creamier, have a much better taste than Haas. So either way, it's worth it. Definitely recommend it. Uh, yeah, try it out. So now that we got most of the avocado in the bowl, what else are you going to add to this? Good question. So we make our avocado real simple and kind of light. We don't do anything crazy. Um, just a little salt. Uh, we use sea salt, but you know, anything fine. You don't want like chunky salt. A um, little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Uh, I like to use lemon juice, especially in the morning for avocado toast because it just gives it like a nice fresh, um, nice fresh taste. And then a uh, little garlic powder and onion powder, and that's really it. Nice. Mm. Can you get it? Yeah. Thank you. Is that lime or lemon juice? Lemon juice. Did you do it with some lime juice? Definitely do it with lime juice. Um, just my personal preference for a morning toast is lemon. Uh, I feel like it has like a nice little zest to it. Um, and what's that? What'd you just put in? Some onion powder and I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic powder. And that's really it. So then we already got the salt in there, we got, got the salt, pepper in there. Pepper, lemon juice, onion powder, garlic onion powder, powder, garlic powder, and then Mix it on up until it gets nice and smooth or a little chunky, depending on how you like your avocado toast. Ready? It's ready. Yep. All right, now that we got it mixed up, we always have to do a little bit of taste tester from the master taste tester. Make sure we got enough stuff in there. Okay. A little bit more salt. A little bit more salt. Mm. But that's good. Wow. And really uh, rich and creamy. It's like you were saying about these Haas avocados. No, these are the Reed avocados. The Reed avocados. They Reed. just have a much creamier texture to them. Yes, yeah. much creamier. Almost as if you added um, like sour cream. sour cream or something to yeah. it. Yeah, but it's... Uh, Man, that's good. It's so good. And the thing is, is what I've read, I mean, I haven't done a lot of reading on this. And honestly, I came by these avocados on accident because when I was ordering from Whole Foods, um, they were having a, a sale on them. So I ordered them. But what I've read is they are seasonal. So you really can only get them during the summertime. Um, but yeah. Highly suggest if you're an avocado buyer, you're already spending the money anyway. So, highly suggest to uh, try out the reed avocados when you can. Mmm, that's perfect. Good? Yeah, super good. Mmm, wonderful. Nice. All right, time to get the toast going. All right, so our pan looks really dirty, but it's on purpose. Um, we like to keep our pan, uh, I guess, seasoned from like the night before, especially if we make something really tasty like pork chops or steak or, you know, something like that. Um, Which so, we did have really good. Yeah. We actually sauteed mushrooms and, and butter in and here. And butter in here, that's right. So there's so, mushrooms, yeah. seasoning, and butter, and that's it. And this is kind of like the leftover juices, juices of that. The light for you. So... This toast should be really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it should be amazing. So we like to use our, our pans, um, you know, one to maybe two times after they've been seasoned with, um, you know, like you said, pork chop, steak, um, mushrooms. Uh, it just really helps give some extra flavor to the dish. 
So um, yeah, we're gonna use this for our toast. Once that butter melts, we're gonna get some toast going and then we're gonna put that avocado on top of it. All right, bread. Um, we are a, or we try to be as much as possible, keto-friendly family. Um, we're mostly low carb Mostly too. low carb, low carb yeah. mainly. Exactly, that's the main thing. We found uh, that, you know, the older you get, the harder it is for your body to like handle gluten and other things like that. So it's really just a, you know, lifestyle choice. We're not diehard or anything. Um, we definitely love us some cupcakes every now and then. But the bread we use is base culture, um, keto or paleo bread. This is the paleo bread. It's good, but we, I think, personally like... Show them the bag. Oh, yeah. We personally like the keto bread a little bit more, but this was all that was in stock, so we're using the uh, the uh, paleo bread, but usually we get their keto bread. So it's, it's grain-free, actually... gluten-free, preservative-free, dairy-free, pure paleo ingredients. All that stuff. Where's the ingredients? Let's do the spinnerooski here. Let's do it. So it's pretty much all good stuff here. All good stuff, and it's actually pretty good. Um, I would have I, to say so myself. It's really good, but I but their keto version, yeah, is is amazing. Yeah, keto version. And I'll try to find a picture. Well, I can not try to find a picture. I'll grab a picture online and yeah. I'll show that to you here in a sec. Yeah. But it's so much better. Yeah, it is way 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 better. So when you're using the keto bread instead of the paleo bread. What we notice is that the toast actually gets a lot more crispier, toastier, toastier yeah, and crispier. It really does. This is good too, but the keto one's way better. Yeah, and I think it's like the paleo bread, it seems to be like a little thicker. Um, so it takes like a little bit longer, a little bit more to toast. But yeah, the paleo bread is seems to be a little lighter and it toasts, yeah, much better. All right, time to check on the toast. It's starting to sizzle. Take a little break, have some coffee while you're waiting for the toast. But let's check it. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's looking good. Looking good. Turn the fire down a little bit. Um, this toast does have a tendency to kind of burn on the edges. So if you're doing it like us, we don't have a toaster. We pretty much do everything on the on a pan or in the oven. Um, no particular reason, we just don't have a lot of counter space, so we decided to forego a toaster or a toaster oven. But anyways, when you're toasting this bread, it does have a tendency to burn a little bit, um, unlike the keto bread, um, it does a little bit better, so be careful to watch the paleo bread. Time to plate and serve. So I'm going to go with my toast first, because I like mine a little less done, while these kind of... That, continue doing their thing. That balancing act. You picked it up with the butter knife. Uh, yeah. <laughs> have it. It's just how we roll just in this good, kitchen. Good practice. Good practice. So that's going to be really good with all that flavoring, all that that seasoned Ooh, pan. Yeah. That should be really good. It, it helps helps it make helps make it taste like kind of uh, more hearty. You know, yeah. especially if you use some of those. Of, you know drippings or or the grease from from meat or anything that was seasoned it just gives you a really good hearty feel even though it's kind of a light meal nice all right so I'm gonna throw some avocado in mine take a bite usually I like to throw like a tomato or something on mine if we have it but uh, we ate our tomatoes already so it's just gonna be and I did get a new spoon. All right, here we go. So good. Good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Super, super good. Can you make mine? Um, I'm gonna try it, but I don't want mine on, on a butt, butt piece of bread. No, I, um, I took the butt piece. Okay, because yeah. I know you like the butt. I like the butt. So I took the butt piece. Your pieces are regular pieces. Yeah. Let me grab my uh, 
spatula. And the reason I don't like the butt piece is because I, I, I like to get more of an avocado-y bite. Oh man, look how good that looks. Wow, that's gonna be good. There you go. Oh, wow. Good? Oh yeah, that looks so good. Make sure we get it on every inch possible. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna... Ready? Hey, let me have a bite. All yeah. right, here we go. Mmm. Oh wow. It's like warm, crunchy, and then you get hit with that cream <laughs> from the avocado. Creamy avocado, yeah. yeah That's sure. amazing. So good. Mm. All right. There it is. Enjoy, everyone.